What's up guys? We're back at y'all again with another video. Today we're doing a tank tour and we're gonna tour uh, that boy Tim's house. Um, he has a ton of tanks, ton of fish, all different kind of species. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll get right into it. Guys, uh, kind of impromptu, but welcome to my little collection. All right, so you wanna tell us about what this tank is first, Timmy Boy? This is my South American tank. Uh, you remember a few videos back this were Preston's fish uh, I got them off of him and put them in my 40 I had a lot of hodgepodge tanks and then I just decided okay do four 440 readers and then went from there and just let it take off I still all of them are a work in progress for the most part my community is how I kind of want greenery to go around um Got a little bit of everything in each. I'm still working on them. <coughs> Trying to get them where I want it to. It's not done yet. It's always a, a work in progress, but I go from there. Uh, bottom one is my South African tank. Uh, got a mixture of everything in there. Got some cribs, it looks like. Uh, VC tens, right? Those are VC tens. Yes. And then two VC tens, some cribs. Johannes. There's an albino pleco somewhere in there. Uh, two Johannes, but they are not mine right now. They are going to be going to somebody else. <coughs> Mark. Um. You want to explain to us this like filtration system? It looks pretty interesting. So, I run uh two different filter settings. I have air filters and then I have uh, canister filters. Canister filters, I am running uh, Fluval FX4s and 6s. Um, I have three FX6s and I have one FX4. Um, hoping in a recent trip coming up, I'll probably upgrade to two more FX6s, refurb them. Kind of like my little side hobby, I like to refurb some of the canister filters now that I know what I'm doing with some of the motors. Oh, she's pretty. That uh, cool. Really nice cribs, yeah. The other thing I got going on is, besides canister filters, I have an air filter system. And if you pan over here, I got about 40 different valve sets. I'm using 35 right now. Uh, I don't really want to pan that, but... I have a pond outside that this is running airlines to. I will check that out here in a little bit. Uh, but everything runs off of this one little nice pump. Um, Nice little handy dandy. Jimco. Jimco pump. Nice. Ordered it directly from the company. Best customer service I've had ever. Um, these are the little stones just you get on Amazon. So I found everything where I can just bulk buy it for a good sell value and then went from there. Um, if you pen that way. That's my little Predator tank. I got some convicts. They just had babies this week, Sunday to be precise. Nice little um, bitchy. So they just started coming out. Huge Late girl. Sunday. But, uh. Let me get in there in that cave a little bit if I can. There's the babies. Hopefully you can see them. Those are my pride and joy. Hopefully get to catch some of them later on this weekend. And leave them to... He's See so them cool. in the tank, but have like a floating system so they can breed them out, grow them out so that we can sell them. So we might have some of those posted soon to the, the website. And then the Talk community about tank, this guy. That's kind of my little pride and joy. I love it. It's nice and calm. Every now and then I'll crank up the, the water flow just to cycle out whatever I got going on and increase it. I like the contrast of the colors of the fish with the green. I think all the green really makes the like oranges and the pinks and reds and everything pop. Well, when I did the water change earlier, oh, last week, that kind of confused me. Like it turned bluish, and I was like, blue green. I was like, no, that's just the green background because of, there is no background behind it. But I was just like, okay. Can I get a shot from the other side? You want to tell us what's in this tank? Nothing. In this tank? Oh, in this one? I got some guppies. No, uh, mollies. 
a bottle of shark, sword tails, a now colony of assassin snails. I started out with two, then I got five more, and <laughs> now you have I five now million. have a healthy colony. That guppy's dope. Yeah, I like that rose line shark too. That's really pretty. I want to get him a partner, him or her a partner. Go but, for it. Yeah, I got my. I got my little sets of stuff I like. And what, what got you, why'd you pick these uh, particular species or uh, biomes that you decided to set up? Docile. For all of them or like, like for, ex for example, that son of a is huge. Um, what made you pick South American the cichlids and why specifically these? Just to pick your brain a little bit. I like the... Uh, the electric little car and it just grew from there and for me it's all about the fins so fins and tails is what gets me so i like their fins and their tails when they have it they yeah have i would say geos are definitely the one for that geos are nice that ram he is gorgeous little german blue and that's a bolivian in the back right yeah and then uh what parameters do you keep all your your south americans everything's at 82 yeah, that's about what I had whenever I... 82, and then for breeding, I bump it up to 86. Got some Severums. There's one little guy. There's a bigger Severum, but he's in the back. There's one there's little there. Severum. Mm. Super big. That's my old redhead uh, Alpha EBAs. The EBAs just had a nest, but... Um, I don't know if we can pick that up on. They ate it. Okay, for some reason, so that Sphinx is crazy. I'll be trying again with them. Eventually, I want to get into salt water, but I need to redesign. You gotta hook them up with a reef tank. I gotta redesign my little area. I don't have much to work with. It's like it's, I got these four tanks, but it's one of them. I don't know which one. One of the uh, redheads looks like it has babies in its mouth. They have like a swollen jaw, kind of looks like, mm -hmm. because they're they're like Africans and they're they mouth brood. I think mm -hmm. I don't remember if it was redhead specifically, but I know that some of the geos mouth brood. Like that one, you see that how it kind of has. That's not really focusing that. It kind of looks like it's carrying babies, so you might have had a nest and you didn't even know about it. Probably so. And if you do had do you breed those, um, would you be selling those on exotic aquatic or exotic? Where aquatic. can we find you? Because I know some people would definitely want those. That's a very popular in-demand fish. And Maybe on exotic. What about these guys? Why did you pick these specific? Uh, these ones? Africans. <clears throat> I really I like, like the I really like on that them. one over there. For, um, on the... Oh, isn't there... The BC-10s, I there, like the uh, Giraffe cichlids in here, too? No. I thought you had some. Yeah, not no more. I saw one. I know I saw one whenever the lights first came on. I think he was back here. I don't know. I saw this one over here. I saw a yellow giraffe. Your some of your cribs have really crazy colors. All these cribs came from uh, Dom. Dom out of Robstown. Yeah, our boy Dom, the one that we talked about in the past. We need to do a tank tour of his house. See that? This one right there. That yellow or come out that rock? That's a giraffe. Oh. Yeah, he, yeah. I knew he had a giraffe in there somewhere. Yeah, these are his kiddos i had a few and then they bred and then they keep on going and we have a pair in the peas tank too and guys. they had a nest two days ago inside the the geo let's see so they've been laying in there so they're all protective of it but eventually when i get the that guy's cool too the johannes out then the oh he's in a little shaky shape and um is there anything that you plan to add to this tank or the other tank we talked about? I'll add more to my community, for sure. Uh, I want to see you get some weird Africans in here. I'm gonna be getting more Africans. I want to. Sure. I want to see you get some like Tanganyikans and some weird stuff. I think that would be cool. Maybe some shell dwellers would be kind of sick. I'm gonna be doing more Africans for sure, but my next few months. I'm gonna focus on getting better health-wise, and then uh, after that, building a little shelf to house 
two FX6 filters, two or three filters underneath it, and then uh, getting my salt water system prepared so I can start doing some grinding. Yes, sir. But eventually, I want to have like a salt water system somewhere right here. It's gonna be sick. Narrow, narrow I, set, long set, but. I, I think a cube would look good too, like a smaller cube right here. I wanna, put, I wanna have two of those, two or three of those. You can put those under it. True. Can you show us your pond by any chance? Yeah. His goldfish pond. All right, we're gonna go to the pond. All right, y'all, so it's actually, it's actually like pitch black. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll do the pond another day. Uh, it's a little bit warmer too, so maybe the fish will be out more. But uh, this is the first of many tank tours. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Who else you want to see in the area? I know we have a couple guys lined up that have crazy systems. I can't wait to show y'all. Um, but we'll get to those eventually. And I hope y'all have a good one.